Hey y'all, it's Casual Baron, and I'm back today with 7 Days to Die again. Another super basic tutorial. Today I'm just going to go over the things you can do right inside of your very own fancy coffin. I mean, base. Okay, so let's start with the campfire. Easy to use, of course. Now, in the campfire, you can make all your food, right? Here's your wood. You're going to need wood. You just drag it. We'll take this over here. Put that there. And we ain't got nothing to make. Well, time to make something very basic. We're going to get ourselves some blueberries from the harvest. Some cornmeal, which we also got from the corn that we harvested. And then we want to get ourselves some eggs. Oh, we don't have eggs. Somebody boiled them. Well then. Do we have anything else we can make? Oh, we can cook potatoes. We can make coffee. Let's go cook ourselves a potato and bottle of coffee. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to select how many you want to make. Or you can click that and type in how many. And if you type a number bigger than what you're holding, it'll just max out at whatever you're holding. You're not going to be able to type more than what you're holding. We're just going to make one. One potato. One coffee. Oh, this button over here, that maximizes it. Just like right off the bat. But again, I only want to make one. And if you've noticed, when it was done, I'm trying to eat that. When it was done, it still goes. See that? There's a timer. And it will go on and on until you click the button to turn it off. Alright. Now that we have our coffee, we're going to put it in our fill. There are two ways of using things that you can drink, eat, or read. There is the use, read, or eat. Or you can have it in your hand and right click all right now we got energy for days let's just put this bottle away we'll use that later i'll be right back all right so now we're at the workbench at the workbench we can make all sorts of things including everything we can make in our own inventory crafting thing so what are we gonna make oh right i don't have any tools i mean things. They're all in the basket. Well, let's just make some spikes. Craft. Okay, while we wait for that, I'm going to activate creator mode to demonstrate something. Click on all items. And let's just take two of these. No. I'm going to hold down my left shift and then I'm going to left click this that'll go in there same thing here now these two are going to combine item A, item B, see? combine and you get the result which is stronger than the other two higher level, that's what's important that's the output, everything you make goes over here so you can get it that's the workbench now over here, well I think I've already gone over the cement mixer, but basically put your things in here, example, crushed sand, mix, that's the maximize button, we don't need that much sand, not making a beach, okay I'll be right back, I'm gonna go downstairs to my chemistry lab. Also, something to remember with chess is that they've added this neat button here. So, we're just going to take this. We'll stick it over there. And then we're going to click this sort container button up here. And, ta-da!
All right. Also, if you're wondering how I'm leaving the containers without pressing anything, I'm hitting the escape button. Okay, so here's the chemistry station. And, you know, it's just another thing where you craft. You can mix antibiotics, for example. It tells you what you need over here. And this is where you put your fuel, things you're going to burn. This timer over here tells you how much time. It's just like the fire pit, you know, the forge. Well, actually, the forge is a little bit different. We'll get that next. Let's see, can we lock this? No, we cannot. But we can lock our door. We can lock it. We can unlock it. We can even put a password. And then we can. I think that takes a password. Yep. Passcode access disabled. Leave it blank. Hit submit, and you've disabled it. If you're the one that puts the code, I mean, if a person's trying to get in there and they just put nothing, it's not going to do anything for them. They have to actually put that code in. The creator of the door is the one that has to take away the password. So here's the forge. Calipers, anvil, tool and die set. You're probably wondering, well, what do you need this tool for? Well, if you see up here, let's say calipers required. Anvil required. Let's see. Oh, that's anvil. Um, which one is the tool and die? There it is. Tool and die set required. In other words, you, these three things are for making all the different things that are inside your forge. Also, you'll see here there's two slots for smelting things. And once it's smelted, it'll go into your forge. And you'll have units of iron, brass, lead, glass, stone, clay. Each for making something different. Turn that on just like you would the campfire. Only with this one, leaving it running has a benefit. It will smell the things that are in here over time. But all that comes with a cost. If you leave things running, you'll generate heat. And after a certain duration, a certain while, your heat will hit 100%, reset, and a screamer will come out there looking around, trying to see what's going on. And they loiter. They get there and they loiter. They don't go away. They just, you know, they loiter. And after a while, yeah, they'll, you know, despawn or kick the bucket because they forgot to eat. But, yeah. So just remember that if you've got a bunch of things going, chemistry station, campfire, forge, and everything just on, you're going to raise the heat high enough that a screamer will spawn. The other thing you want to look out for is wandering hordes. Wandering hordes are those guys that they... It's a group of zombies, they spawn, and the higher heat, the more likely they are to happen. There's always a random chance for them to spawn, but the higher your heat percent or level, the more likely it becomes. Okay, hopefully this little interfacing thing helped you out. Let's see, what do we... Oh yeah, we can do the same thing to chests that we do with doors, that sort of thing. If you hit E on these, you can write something. I think that that's pretty much it. Oh, you could take candles down and replace them. I guess I'll show you that and then I'm going to call it, because this is really just a really basic tutorial. And there you go. Shift click it to the belt, right click the wall, and there you go, you have a candle again. Alright, thank you for watching. Not a day, make it great. Yeah, take care. See you.